Uh, oops. I forgot to press record when I was on the opening screen. But that's okay. Here it is now. And it'll have the same amount of kills as when I'm done with my first attempt, right? Right, future me? You didn't immediately forget after the first one and make me look stupid, right? Uh, <laughs> uh I hope not. Why is it always from behind? You were not there behind me. But you're going to get blasted, get blown. And you can take my only fl Where did you come from? I just blew everyone up. Did you fall from the ceiling, sir? Is there a living space up there? Because if so, I need to find the ass station owner because that's illegal. I know the zombie apocalypse is going on right now, but as an officer of the law with Raccoon City Police Department, I have a sworn civic duty to... I have a sworn civic duty to earn revenue for the state whenever possible. If you didn't want to get fined, then you shouldn't have broken the law. Ah! Uh, why do you keep attacking me when I'm monologuing? And with this... Yeah, I died at the ripe old age of 59 when I could have lived to 100. That's what it said on the card I showed earlier, right? It said 59, right? <clears throat> well... Easy come, easy go. And here I go again. You know what I really like about these zombie games? Is how strong the zombies kneecaps are. As if that was a body part that you could work out at the gym. And I missed the leg shot. Why are you showing me your teeth like I'm a dentist? Does becoming a zombie make you part snake? Why won't you go that really from behind? From behind. From behind, bro. From behind. There's a whole horde of them. This isn't looking good for me. Hey, yeah. am I dead now? No, I'm only in caution. That's right, I just healed. And how are they body blocking me from behind? <laughs> it's always from behind. They're like, wouldn't it be romantic if we made out by this skimpy poster ad? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did that just happen? I shot right through you. I'm going to need an instant replay on that. Because it looked like my shot just went right through you. That I managed to shoot behind you. There is no gun with that kind of curvature. <laughs> Oh, come on, you're a poison zombie. How do you still have teeth in your head? They should be rotting and falling out by now. And come on, Flash. Flash, save. No. It goes off after I get bit. Of course. What great comedic timing that was. That's, that, that's just awesome. See, he thought it was so funny that he fell down laughing. Ha ha ha. Oh, you got a backpack. I need your stuff, but I know there's another zombie down the aisle. And there's more over here. And no, I pulled the trigger, sir. I have responsive triggers. I felt it get pushed down. And I'm... And I'm boned. I'm getting mounted from behind. And he's pushing my face into the six-pack of beer he roofied to get me into this position. That, that's just, that's just great. Yeah. That's what I wanted to happen. Uh-huh. Like, I, I don't know what attempt this is, but I, I know it's at least over two dozen. And I don't want this to be a super long video. But I know it's going to end up being long with just the successful attempt. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Wow, he couldn't do this in less attempts? But, but, that's where you're wrong. Because if you look at the number on the top left of the screen, you'll see that it's not lower than what it already is. 
So checkmate. I got you. But in all seriousness, I am trying. I am playing this cool and calm like a level-headed cucumber. But I just can't retain any important information to my survival. No relevant information is staying in my head. It is entering through my eyeballs and exiting through my tear ducts in the form of salty, salty tears. I just can't remember anything, at least past the 30th one. I remember the items, but I can't remember the zombie spawn locations. It's, it's, it's a wave of... It's a wave of 10, 10, 10, 20, and then either 20 and 30 or two sets of 25. You know, 1 to 10, 11 to 20, uh, yeah, it's 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 50, and then it's either 51 to 70, and then a last wave of 30. Or it's two waves of 25 after you get the 50th zombie. And I just can't remember the pattern. I keep dying at 55. The information that I need for my survival just keeps escaping me. Like the main character in a horror movie. Wait. Okay, I know that makes me like the serial killer or the monster in the movie since... They would be escaping from me and I would be chasing them in that logic. But uh, I'm sticking with it. It makes sense. Uh, because they usually live at the end of the horror movie, right? The main character. They, they don't just kill them all, right? Uh, so it makes sense for them to live and escape me. So as you can see, it is clearly not my fault that I keep dying. And that I've been doing this for the last several hours. Uh... It is definitely the game's fault. It doesn't want me to win. Uh, that, that, that's what it is. It, it, it's not that I'm bad at games, you know. I'm I'm, okay. I'm good at them. You know, I, I, you know I, I'm okay. I, I would give myself a 6 out of 10. Don't, don't be too hard on myself. So. And okay, maybe a 5 out of 10. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I shouldn't use a grading scale for this. Because I've continually died for, for several hours. But, uh... Yeah, let's just blame something else other than me and move on with our lives. <laughs> like the police officer. Because it says in the beginning that the only reason he went into the gas station and got into this mess is that he didn't smell the scent of blood uh, in the air, like on the wind. And I would like to argue that the wind would have at least carried the ominous moaning of a hundred zombies. Uh, you know, the, the audible cue to be like, something is wrong here. Maybe I shouldn't go into this enclosed area. You know, this enclosed coffin-shaped area. You know, we don't really get a good look at the gas station on Leon and Claire's playthrough. It's, it's really dark outside. This, this gas station could have been built in the shape of a pyramid. You know, I, could, I would argue that. That's coffin-shaped, right? Or, 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 or it could be square or rectangular shapes. There are uh, square and rectangular coffins. Hey, hey, it, it is, this is really the officer's fault for getting into such an ominously shaped object. Uh, you know, when you think about it, wouldn't you think that something would be off if all of a sudden you were going through your day-to-day -day life and then everything that you could see would all of a sudden be from third person? That wouldn't raise any red flags for you? Huh? Huh? It's like, I would think something's wrong if all of a sudden I could see what's happening from behind me. Like that, you know, that would seem out of the ordinary to me. I would probably call in sick to work that day if that happened. Maybe that's how we'll know that the apocalypse is happening. We'll unlock the third person point of view. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be amazing? Imagine being able to zoom in and out and see farther away than you ever could have. To see things from an eagle eye point of view. For the people that play with inverted controls to collapse onto the ground because there's obviously the wrong way to move. 
I know people use I know people use inverted controls in game but imagine all of a sudden you would have inverted controls in real life I'm pretty sure they would open up the option menu and change it because that just that that, that just doesn't sit right with me it doesn't make a whole lot of sense in real world applications or or maybe that's why the zombies have a hard time getting around. They've been infected. They're, they're infected, and that's why they're zombies. But the infection causes them to have their controls inverted. I know, my mind's blown too. That's, that's why they have such a hard time. That's why they have such a hard time getting to us. The main character. That's why they have such a hard time getting to us. Like, these zombies, as they go down the aisles, they don't just walk straight to you. They'll keep they'll keep going to, like, the left or right, and then go down the other aisle. And they won't just go straight towards you. They'll keep going to the left or right and go down the next aisle instead of coming straight towards you. Instead of coming straight towards you because they have such a difficult time adapting to the new controls they have. That makes sense, right? They just keep Tokyo drifting away from us. And it's really annoying too because that's how they're able to surround us so easily. Like there'll be one at the end of an aisle and I'll go down the aisle and it'll already be at the end of another aisle. It won't just hang around or come down to where I am. They don't face you directly. They just encircle and surround you, these guys. It doesn't seem like they have any kind of plan whatsoever, but it's clearly intentional. They just wander around and wait for other ones to come in onto the screen so that they can encircle you. They, they don't face you one-on-one. -on -one. They use human wave tactics. Zombies don't use modern warfare or guerrilla tactics to try and take out their opponent. They simply use their numbers to crush you. That's like old time war. That's in like the year 100-200. Where to take over a city or another civilization of people. They would just send their entire population at them. The king or... The king or monarch or the... The, the tribal chief that's in charge of the that's in charge of the population they're in charge of their tribe they just look at the neighboring tribe and they're like oh you have a 500 people I see well I have 50,000 people here are my demands it is, it is <laughs> that's really all it is because it's honestly one versus 100. Like, the whole goal is to kill a hundred zombies. I managed to talk my way into a circle. Good for me. <laughs> and why wouldn't they use human wave tactics? This whole thing is a one versus one hundred... ...challenge. That's what it is. I somehow managed to talk my way into a circle and arrive at the correct answer that was already known. Is this what doing advanced math is like? Where they ask you to show your work and you already know the answer? So you just circle back around and write out all of your work just to show the same answer? Why wouldn't they let you use another formula then? It's the same answer! It's the same thing, a war with human wave tactics or a war in an enclosed area with a bunch of zombies. You know, it's two different formulas. You know, one's reality. One's virtual reality. But just know that the important thing is, is that I've been talking for so long that I've forgotten what point it was I was trying to make. Was it about how inverted controls suck? Because they do. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be an option. They can be an option. You can use them if you want. I'm just saying they shouldn't be a selectable option. You know, it's more just there for decor. 
it's there so that it's nice to look at in the option menu you know it, it fills it in so that it takes up the whole screen instead of just a little part of it it can still be there just don't use it that's all i'm asking like in a game that allows you to drive cars why is it that as soon as you get in the car it'll invert your controls that you have been using to control your character just because your character went in a car the, in the controls invert no one acts for that <laughs> and i believe some games have uh, have this option too where you can flip everything or when you play an older game from like the ps1 or ps2 era and the controls are automatically inverted why why you you're basing the game off of reality off of what you do in real life you look to the right to look to the right you look to the left to look to the left now i understand the car thing but like like how you turn the steering wheel to one side to make it go another way that that i understand but just that doesn't justify creating an entire mirrored movement system there is no need for inversion only immersion i want to be immersed in a game i don't want my controls to be inverted for that that removes from the immersion i can imagine that that's what it was like in a meeting when they were discussing uh, like the next big game to make and that's just how inverted control started they just kept talking about the importance of immersion our games need to be immersive we need to really draw in the crowd we need to get more people to play our games our games need to be immersive and then the game developer that's like on half a cup of coffee and no sleep just here's inversion we need to focus on inversion and so he makes an entire control scheme that's inverted and it just gets included in one of the games and then the next game company is like oh they included that we need to do that we can't let someone else have a leg up on us so now all the games have inverted controls like that's that's how it happened right Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Like, so, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I am almost positive that that's how it happened. I wasn't there for it, but I can imagine it so clearly. Can't you? Just close your eyes. Close your eyes, okay? I'm gonna keep playing the game. Don't worry. I got this. But close your eyes and just imagine a bird flying through the sky backwards. Now, does that make sense? Is that what you want to see? Because I don't. I would think I would be having a stroke if I saw that. <laughs> Not literally, but I'd be checking for symptoms. With inverted controls, that bird would be flying the wrong way. Inverted controls are just unnatural. There's no point in having them. Like, imagine... Uh, imagine... If you were to move your left arm and instead your right arm would move, you would think there would be something wrong with you. Again, you'd be checking for symptoms to see what's wrong with you. If you would move your right leg forward in your mind, and instead you'd pick your left leg up off the ground, again, that would be a serious mental illness, right? That would be something you'd go to the doctor to check, right? You wouldn't just leave that undiagnosed. Why is it okay when it's in a video game, man? Have I crapped on inverted controls enough yet? Hmm... No, I don't think I have. What else can I say about inverted controls that I don't like? Hmm... Ah, they're unintuitive. They're unintuitive. Unless you played a game with inverted controls first. Like that was the game you got as a child, or as an adult maybe, maybe you couldn't afford a game as a kid, and it just happened to have inverted controls, then I could understand. I could understand why you believe that inverted controls are the right way to play a video game. But if not, I think that you have been brainwashed. 
No offense, I'm sure you're a great person, even though that you have been brainwashed. Uh, but I would like to remind you that for all the modern games, all of the modern ones, your your older games had their controls inverted automatically, but your newer games, these modern games, all of their controls are done the right way. You need to go into the menu and select it for it to be inverted, right? Right? See how you're on the losing side of this argument? Do you? Do you? Maybe your eyes are still closed from earlier when you was picturing the bird flying backwards. Open them up again and see how wrong you are. And I have to be right about this. I'm sorry, but I have to be right because I'm almost done playing this game. I'm almost at the 100 mark. I could still die. If I die, I'll admit I'm wrong. But if I get to the end, then that means that I'm right, according to me, the only person who is making this argument to you. If you disagree, then you should have done something to sabotage me so that I wouldn't get this far in the game. So I can only take it to mean that since you're allowing me to almost finish the game, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it on this attempt, that you agree with me. And for that, I thank you. You know, we all have our bad days. We all have our times where we do something that is wrong. We are very clearly in the wrong, but we don't want to admit it. And it takes a big amount of courage in order to admit when you're wrong, to apologize, and accept that you've been wrong this whole time. It's one thing to say it, but it's another thing to acknowledge it. And I want you to know that I'm glad you've decided to be on the right side of things. I'm really proud of you. I'm glad that you could trust me enough with this, to be there by your side, when you admitted that you were wrong. I know it wasn't easy for you, but as I've already said, I'm proud of you. And I won't think any less of you, even though you were wrong for all of these years. I accept you as you are, a new believer in the standard control system. And with enough help from everyone else, we can make it the only control system. It takes a village, guys. You know, no one can do this on their own. It takes all of us. We all can do this together. That was no way out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.